While it's the paparazzi's job to stalk celebrities and take their photos, the act can be considered an invasion of privacy at times, and this can get some celebs ticked off. This was the case with Margot Robbie and her friend Cara Delevingne, who were at the center of a scuffle that led to the arrest of two filmmakers. Care to find out what really happened? Then watch this video to the end. What you need to know. According to The Sun, a photographer tried to take a picture of Margot Robbie and Cara Delevingne around 3 a.m. after seeing them at Buenos Aires celebrity restaurant, Patagonia Sur, where they had just eaten. Then, the local photographer, who goes by the name Pedro Alberto Oquera was said to have gotten into a fight with Robbie's business partner, Josie McNamara, and his key grip, Jack Hopkins, who are both present. The British newspaper also reported that both McNamara and Hopkins were taken to Buenos Aires police station for questioning, while the actress and her model friend left the scene to avoid police drama. What did the photographer say? Apparently, the fight didn't go well for the photographer, as he claimed he got his arm broken in the scuffle. He said, and I quote, they tried to take my camera so they could erase the photos I had taken. They started hitting me, so I started running away. He also said that he was bleeding a lot because of what was alleged to have happened. After the Paris Fashion Week, Robbie and Delavine were on vacation in the South American country where the alleged incident occurred. And according to a witness, Margot and her friend got into a car and nearly fell out again as the driver quickly sped off. That's all we know for now, but we'll be sure to keep you posted as more details are uncovered. How Cara Delavine went from being the IT model for millennials to being the pick me girl for Gen Z. What was once praised as Delavine's typical quirky girl attitude when she was at the top of her career is now seen as the cringeworthy and often problematic behavior of an affluent, privileged white woman from old money who has never taught manners. Even though it might be disappointing for some of the many people who don't like Delavine, this video won't be about her acting career or lack of acting skills. Instead, we'll look at some of the many things that definitely hurt her popularity as well as how the rise of Gen Z's online has contributed to her fall keep watching the video. She was the poster child for favoritism. Most of you probably already know this, but Delavine has some pretty high society ties through her family heritage. This includes publishing executives, models, socialites, and even some politicians. It might also interest you to know that the model and actress's grandfather ran both the Evening Standard and the Daily Express. And since her pictures kept showing up in the newspapers and tabloids before she became famous, many people on the internet have linked this to her initial rise to fame. Not to mention that her godfather was the chairman of the Condé Nast for 30 years before he stepped down in 2017. Both of her parents come from wealthy, well-connected families so the Delavines are literally next door to royalty in the UK. In other words, and without taking away from the fact that she was still a good fit for the modeling industry. Delavine didn't just become famous by chance, she had always been set up for it. She was caught dropping a bag of strange white powder. In May 2013, Delavine was at the top of her modeling career when she was caught on camera dropping a bag of mysterious white powder outside of her London apartment. Those to know about the illegal drugs and are trying to guess what the unidentified substance could have been, we would assume it was cocaine. Then it's annoying that Delavine wasn't put under any form of investigation and didn't receive any punishment for being in possession of the strange white substance she discarded. To avoid attention, the young model used social media and a huge number of followers she already had to keep the media from focusing on her. Her little slip-up happened the day before the Met Gala, so both the press and public were already distracted by more important things. And to make absolutely sure the world kept the white substance off their minds, Delavine went an extra mile by putting up a picture on Instagram of herself and her friend, the British actress Sienna Miller, locking lips. And as you would expect, the shocking sexy photo went viral and all over the news. By the next day, no one cared at all about what happened with the white powder. She has a thing for black women. Since May 2018, when she first used her she-her pronouns, the model has been open about being gender fluid. She confirmed in June 2019 that she was dating actress and model Ashley Benson. 
but after a year together, they broke up in April 2020. She said, and I quote, I think I'll always be pansexual, which means that she is attracted to all people, no matter their biological sex, gender, or gender identity. I fall in love with a person, no matter how they describe themselves, whether it's they, he, or she. Liking and loving all people regardless of their identity isn't a problem. That is ultimately her personal choice. The real problem is that she has been accused several times of using her identity as a white queer person to invade the bodies of black and brown females in order to assert and express her own and she is fond of doing this without their consent. Remember when Azalea Banks performed her hit song, 212, at Leah McSweeney's Halloween party in 2021? Well, during that performance, Delavine went on stage, grabbed the singer's microphone, and started talking incoherently to the crowd. Banks, who looked very confused by Delavine's actions, managed to get the microphone back and continued to entertain the audience. The model-turned-actress then got down on her knees grabbing and licking Banks' legs, which was caught on camera. Someone shared the video and asked, can we ban Cara Delevingne from Hollywood? She does it again. Delevingne's behavior has made the news again this year, and most notably at the 2022 Billboard Music Awards, which she somehow attended, even though she isn't known as a musician and wasn't even nominated. Still, she managed to completely steal the show from Doja Cat and Megan The Stallion, and not in a good way. Her funny behavior started on the red carpet before the show, when she was peeking around the corner to watch Megan pose for the photographers who were waiting. According to BuzzFeed News, with her eyes on Megan, Kara was shouting and sticking her tongue out, but no one could hear her. Eventually, she ran onto the carpet and grabbed the train of Megan's custom Mugler dress. To make the photos more interesting, Delavine kept throwing the train in the air for the camera. At first, Megan laughed politely, but some people have said that she looked annoyed as the model crashed her red carpet moment. During the show, things only got worse. Megan was sitting next to Delavine, and Doja was right behind them. And at one point, the two artists were talking when Delavine popped up between them and told Doja, Babe, I love you so much. And then she did even more. Megan the staff won the award for Top Rap Female Artist at the 2022 Billboard Music Awards. And Delavine was so happy about it that she leaned up close to the rapper, stuck her tongue out, and made a funny face. As if that wasn't weird enough, Delavine grabbed Megan's dress train again. But this time, she didn't throw it like she did on the red carpet. Instead, she ran her hand down the fabric. Again, weird. She then jumped up from her seat and cheered in an over-the-top way. That aside, she was also seen rolling on the floor while taking a picture of Doja Cat posing with Fat Joe and DJ Khalid. She seems to be friends with everyone who is popular right now. Since she first came to everyone's attention, Delavine has been able to move quickly from one famous best friend to the next. First, it was Rita Ora, and from then on, a new bestie took the place of the last. Delavine also hung out with Rihanna, then America's favorite singer, Taylor Swift. There are a lot of famous people who could be added to the list, but Selena Gomez seems to be the most recent one. The model plays Gomez's love interest in the second season of Only Murders in the Building on Hulu. Interestingly, they even have the same tattoo. In an interview with ABC's Live with Kelly and Ryan in January 2022, Selena Gomez says, and I quote, She calls me Rosebud, which is why we both have have rose tattoos. I've always wanted a rose, and now that I have one, I love it. So guys, do you think Margot Robbie and Cara Delevingne will get into trouble for the paparazzi scuffle? Let's have your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoy watching this video, why don't you like and share it so your friends can watch it too. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to keep getting more interesting videos like this.